and welcome to Like Totally Vegan. Today we're making a delicious vegan mayonnaise and I'm here to show you how easy it is. You'll be amazed, especially if you have a Cuisinart with the secret hole. I don't know if you can see in there, there's a tiny hole. I'll show you what this is used for. Let's get started. So first we take the lid off the Cuisinart. And I'm going to pour in one cup of soy milk. I love the organic soy milk at Trader Joe's. It's organic. It's only a buck seventy-five, and it works totally plain. You need plain soy milk. And then we're going to add apple cider vinegar, and we're going to add all the ingredients except for the oil. Some sea salt, and I'll have all the ingredients on the recipe page, so don't worry about that. And here's some mustard. You can use Dijon mustard or you can use um, just regular yellow mustard like I did. And then here's uh, black salt and you add a pinch. And black salt is sulfur so it smells like egg. I'm going to put a couple pinches in there just to give it that eggy, egginess for the mayonnaise. And then we're going to blend all that up. While this is on, we're now going to do the secret thing for this hole in the bottom of that plunger. You pour, this is canola oil, another mild oil is fine, you just pour it in, fill up the cup, and that little hole slowly drips the oil into the soy milk. You can kind of see it there. It's just dripping and emulsifying. And you just keep doing this, slowly going down. And you just keep doing it until all the oil is gone. And then you have mayonnaise. So all the oil has been added in. And as you can see, we've got mayonnaise, nice and thick and rich. And I'm going to take the Actually, I'm going to pour it right in to the jar. And I like to chill it a bit, and then it gets really thick and creamy. You can already see it's gotten quite thick, and it's all ready to go. Well, now you see how easy it is to make your own vegan mayonnaise. And you can use it in all kinds of things, like macaroni salad on your sandwiches. I mean, it's endless how much you can use this. I actually replaced some of the canola oil with truffle oil, like maybe like a quarter of it, and it makes an amazing truffle aioli to put on risotto or whatever just to squeeze into your mouth. It's really good. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you go out and try it and share it with your friends. Let's show them how easy and cheap it is to make your own vegan mayonnaise. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.